Alrighty guys, this is the Oculus Rift running on the Unreal Development Kit with the true first person viewpoint enabled. By default, the Rift controls aim, which to me is kind of pointless. Why have the Rift if you control the aim with both the mouse and the Rift? It's better to separate them, which you can do with a couple of toggles, which I'll just find and turn on. And there we go. Strangely, pitch does not make your head move up and down, but your makes it move side to side. And of course, you can move your head separately as well. Now I have found that uh, thus far, because of the bobbing that's already uh, in the animation, nausea is less of a problem. This happens with default UDK as well, but because you actually have arms and a body as a reference point, it's even better. Of course, this is just a quick uh, version of it, based on code from Ground Branch of all places. So, John, yes, sorry, I'm pinching stuff. Still, works pretty well. Took me about, I don't know, two and a half, three hours, maybe. One of the weird things I find with the Rift is I stare at things I normally wouldn't care about, like leaves falling. And I haven't even set up my uh, eye depth and all the rest. Was it into pupil distance or something? So everything looks extra blurry to me right now. But still very cool. I can imagine this working very well for, like I said, situational awareness. You can now aim over there while looking to the left or right correctly. None of this trying to look forward and turn your head with uh, things like the track IR or face API. You just look. I'm always tempted to jump off, but unfortunately it seems to block you. I may have to fix that and let you jump off, because the uh, effect is quite profound. It's kind of like falling out of bed. Or feeling like you're falling out of bed anyway. A sudden jarring. Very cool. It's just so natural to be able to look around like this. And I could try and look behind me, but I kind of got the cable cut tangled around my ear at the moment. Note to Oculus Rift developers, longer cable that you can disconnect. And an extra large strap, because this one's way too tight for my fat ass head. That's what I get for being like a Cro-Mag. Big nose, big forehead. Whinge, whinge, whinge. Still, very cool. I wonder if I can get my fingers in the right place to enable uh, Ghost. We'll go for a jump. Uh, that's pretty funny. The, uh, I forgot to fix that. I'll have to go into controller later and fix it. For anyone looking at this through the rift, uh, you may want to look away in a second. This kind of feels funky. Wee. No kidoki. Now, yeah, where's that button? Let's see. There's the space bar. Is this the one? Ah, uh, crap. Ugh. Like I said, funky. Still, I do want to make a game about jumping. I think of it actually having an animation playing when you hit the ground, which I'll enable later. It would feel less weird. Please don't hate me if you feel sick now. Anyway, that's it. Have a good one.